Hey, my love. Your eyes do not deceive you. I am actually this red. And just to prove it to you, <laughs> I've been playing outside for a very long time. I've been playing out since 11.30. It is currently 8 o'clock. Well, that's the thing. I wasn't out that long. I actually had a one hour train delay. Um, I first and foremost have to apologize for not answering your phone. I didn't know that you had Wi-Fi and I had my phone in my pocket the whole time. So I honestly couldn't. This is kind of... Um, distracting me right now so I'm not going to uh, be shirtless for the remainder of this video um, but yeah I had fun a lot of guys came um, there was a bunch of people from Staten Island Tech uh, and they were all really good players and I got my fair share of losses and my fair share of wins but first and foremost I do have to tell you that how much I miss you and how much I miss kissing you and every single time when I'm laying on when I'm laying on my bed, I'm always hugging my pillow or hugging my uh, blankets because like I'm just kind of getting that little feeling that maybe perhaps you can um, have this moment with me when I'm just like sleeping with you and being the big spoon and stuff. Um, so today was uh, a very average day to start. Um, I was I cleaned my desk finally, right? As you can see, yes. Um, cleaned my desk for the first time in a while since actually the last time I cleaned my desk was when you came so yes it has been a while um, so I can't get on the right position for my camera okay here we go so um, yes and then I was I asked my mom uh, to bring me to um, Cropsey Park where I played uh, handball for a very long time I played at high, no high noon so that's when I got um, this tan, this tan, right? But like, I don't get burnt, so it's quite alright. I think I have a ring tan, might maybe. Um, yeah, but yeah, I when I drove there, I was uh, kind of asking her on like a few like m little more awkward questions for me to ask her, which included like, is it okay if I can go to Boston? Uh, like with a f with some friends, meaning just you, right? So, um, and she said, yeah, sure. Which, to my surprise, like, she let me go. Um, but my own concern is that she would call the, um, she would call the uh, hotel company. So maybe I was thinking that uh, I can have Calvin and Rebecca come with us or, like, another couple, and then I can just tell them that me and the guy are sharing one room and that you and the girl are sharing another room. But in fact... We are sleeping together, you and me, not me and the other guy. Um, so that was my secret master plan, right? Um, so, yeah, and because the reason why I asked her to go to Boston, because um, there's this other couple um, that went to Boston for their one year anniversary, and I thought that was very cute. I wanted to go to Boston. I wanted to go to Quincy Market and uh, eat a lot of foods with you. And Quincy Market is very famous for their Boston food and very authentic. And it's also very healthy. They're always like from farm fresh uh, to table. So um, yeah, that was that. And she said yeah. So I was. I'm kind of thinking about it. I'm still planning your surprise. So this is just another thing to maybe look forward to in the upcoming year. Um. What else? Oh yeah, so I played a lot of handball. You know, my my arm is obviously very sore, and you can tell from my tan. Um, yeah, and also I forgot to say that uh, she made a point in that people from Germany, Germany, um, like the families have like a tradition of sending their sons and their daughters out on their own adventure when they turn eighteen. So once she mentioned Germany, of course I was just like, mm, the boy boy. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so basically that was it for our conversation, and we, um, and I played handball with Calvin and Jesse and other people, um, and then the thing that, like, stood out to me most today was this thing that happened as I was coming home. So when I was coming home, um, there was this, I walked into the train station and everybody was just yelling, like, there was just, uh, just this black guy and this really skinny black woman and they were yelling. I thought they were like a couple. I didn't really pay attention to it. 
but then uh, sooner or later like uh, I started noticing that um, like one was like a very heavy Amer American accent like she spoke very fluent and the other one was like had he knew how to speak English but he had like an African accent so I thought something was up so I purposely sat like very close to them and um, so apparently like they had a dispute and the woman knocked over his things um, and the guy was very very mad so he started like um, making like these accusations and like like you're a bitch and stuff like that and and once he started to say that I'm going to kill people if you uh, if you uh, uh, like I'm gonna kill you if you come close to me and I was like okay so I have to break this up so uh, I held him back for a little bit and then he never stopped talking like he just kept on going he was like one punch and I'll kill you and I was like uh, can you not because I will kill you back <laughs> um, but it was kind of like a very serious thing because I understand that it was like very like violent threats but the thing was that I didn't want I wanted to hold off on calling the police because I didn't want to like be a perpetuator of uh, racism or like uh, and stereotypes and a perpetuator of police brutality because what the fuck if he had a fucking gun and I would be the person responsible for him getting shot you know because I called the police but like I was like just worried about everybody else as a passenger and my phone didn't have battery so I asked this other uh, guy for his phone and I called the police and they all came and like as I was sitting there and I was watching the police doing their work and they were like they were moderately hostile they were like pushing him around and like frisking him and stuff like that um, and I was just thinking like what if he actually had a gun what if he was actually shot what, what would that do to me as a person and I was thinking that maybe I would be pretty upset if somebody died on my account um, but the thing is that being who I am and being uh, having this like this idea of uh, sociopathy um, like I wouldn't I, I was at like 71st so 71st 62nd 55th uh, then 50th and Fort Hamilton so like during that like train ride I was just thinking that like um, wow babe really made me very soft you know but not in a bad way you know like I was I was able to sympathize with other people and I was um, able to understand people's feelings and I thought that was a very um, a very humanistic and very um, like like normal thing to do like because if I wasn't having like this intimate relationship with you I wouldn't have cared as much like if you if he gets shot then he gets shot you know like I wouldn't have cared but um, but of course it's like a mental mental thing but um, I'm just happy to to know that uh, you're like my therapist and you've always been there for me and you've always been there when I had my bad days and when I got angry so um, so I want to thank you personally for that and I love you so much like it's just um, it's just that thing that troubled me and then I related back to you and I just started thinking about you and how much I miss you and how much I want you to come back into my arms and so um, other than that you know I was just it was an okay day like that was just kind of like a little spike in my emotional value and um, one other thing I noticed that I've been kissing this a lot I, I go like and then and then like it's kind of it's kind of gay but like I, I do it because like every single time I miss you I kiss it and then it's just it kind of mimics like the feeling of me kissing your hand right on the ring so it makes me kind of like feel a little more safe and uh, a little more happy that um, even though you're away I can still have a piece of you with me so thank you for this it's working very well and again I wanted to say sorry for um, not replying when I have Wi-Fi um, tomorrow around that time I will probably be at the airport and I'll be probably flying transcontinental so uh, I have to be sorry again my love I'm so sorry and you know you are always in my mind and um, I just didn't know when you were gonna have Wi-Fi or something um, and I love you a lot you know you're my princess and I can never give that up so this video is a little longer because I had to go into depth about everything that happened today so um, but today was a very eventful day and I should be sleeping very soon because I had to wake up at 4 
so I can get my stuff ready, pack my toothbrush that I will not forget, um, you know, pack my suitcase. I have to get to the airport at 6, meet up Rocky and the rest of the people, and um, you'll, I will give you a call at 6 um, because I know that you're awake at 6. Like for me at six, and you will um, and you will probably be awake. You'll probably like set out around then. So um, yeah, I I miss you a lot, and I'm sorry this video is very long, and I hope you find my tan very funny, because it's kind of like your tan. I look like a tomato. This is what I look like when I'm drunk, by the way. I hope you like it, and this is also what I look like. I presume uh, when I have a uh, sex flush. Like an after flush? I don't know what it's called. But I love you a lot, okay? Um, 11 minutes going on 11 minutes. This is going to take two hours to upload, so I have to end it here. I love you so much. Uh, stay safe and have a very great time at German. Ne? Um, I love you a lot, okay? Sleep well if you haven't been sleeping well. Eat well. I know that you have very nice food there. Um, eat a sausage for me because Germany's are... Germany's... Germany is very famous for their sausages. I love you a lot. Mm -hmm.